All right, rounding out the spring collection. Simplicity just dropped theirs here in the last few days. I have already posted them for McCall's Butterick, Nomi, and New Look. So waiting on Vogue. Um, and we'll see um, if Berta Style posts something in the next uh, week or so also. All right, so starting things off, I want to say too that if you see something that you think you'd like for a sew along, let me know. I'm looking for my next sew along, which would go live in June. Um, it has to be a pattern that is size inclusive and not already have a sew along attached to it. So a lot of the McCall's, a lot of the Nomi, they're getting the um, designers to do their own sew along. So um, those don't qualify anymore. But hopefully in this Simplicity collection, we will find some cute ones um, that everybody wants to make together. All right, this first one is a Mrs. Dress. Easy to sew dresses have sleeve length and ruffle flounce variations. Dress includes ties and bias binding at neckline and separate tie sash. <clears throat> so taking a look here. So we've got the bias bound neckline with the little tie, little like V slit there. And then all of this is, yeah, you can see here, it's like a raglan, but it has this yoke that goes all the way around. That's a great detail if you want to add like some kind of trimming, whether that be, I don't know, eyelet trim, um, eyelash trim, heck, fringe, you know, like go for it. Um, and then I think from here, it's just a straight like this. Yeah. Kind of nightgowny. And then you can add the tie sash. You can add the ruffle with the exposed edge, big sleeve with a band. And then of course, I think you could also with, I mean, super easily just replicate the instructions for this to do more tiers. If you want it, that would be really easy to do. Great use of like all of your like mid-weight cottons. Chambray, of course. We'll talk about that here in a second when we look at the suggested fabrics. But this is what it looks like without the little, without the sleeve attached. It creates a little flutter sleeve. That's so cute. Oh, and then you can add a ruffle to the flutter sleeve if you want. I'm not the biggest fan of these above bust seams and then no other seams below it. It does read... Moo Moo, it does read like super shapeless. Um, you have literally no shape at all because the only seam is above like the first curve of your body. And then to have a separate belt, I don't know, that, that's just not my favorite. It feels a little bit lazy on the designer side. That said, when you add the ruffle to the bottom, dang, that sure does look cute and comfy. I kind of love that. The ruffle does make a big difference. Yeah. Cute, right? Can you see? Like, this feels dated to me, and then this feels more modern and fresh and youthful and fun. That I'm definitely not loving. I already have a big enough caboose as it is. I don't need anything <laughs> doing anything to accentuate <laughs> the areas between my waist and my, like, super low hip. That's a lot better. That's a lot better. But um, you can see here too, the little yoke kind of scoops down through here. I like that detail. That's fun. So many gathers in this though. I feel like I've been doing nothing but um, sewing garments with gathers lately. Suggested fabrics are batik, chambray, cotton types, linens, poplin, sateen, and silky types. Yep, for sure. I mean, silky types maybe, mm, the, you know, I, not all silky types. I wouldn't agree with that. I wouldn't go... I mean, you could go super lightweight, but all that's going to happen is the whole garment's just going to fall in on your body. Um, and you'll lose like the coolness of this, which is the volume. Um, and the only notion is some bias tape and the sizing is six to 24. All in one. That is so refreshing after the new look collection that I just posted. So that takes us from, I mean, it's a pretty loose fitting dress to begin with, but um, a bust of 30 and a half up to 46. Um, and then, I mean, tons of ease throughout. Um, so you're really just going to pick the bust measurement. Oh gosh. Yeah. Fitting this is going to be a little bit tricky. You definitely don't want it to be super, you know, overwhelming on your frame. Um, 
I might even start with like a, like start at the shoulder, like fit the shoulder and then everything else beyond that. Or maybe even like your upper bust, since that's where that one seam is, I would measure out the upper bust seam and then find the closest size to that with some wearing ease included um, because these numbers are not going to be super helpful. Okay, is that it? Oh gosh, I wish I could, oh gosh, I wish I could disable that for these videos, but I just have to remember to scoop around. <laughs> okay, next we have Mrs. Skirt with hemline, very, nope, we have Mrs. Pants, All right, we have easy to sew, relaxed fit, pull on pants with belt loops, side seam pockets, and hem variations. This styling, what is happening? Okay, so ignoring the fact that she's wearing a crop tank exposed midriff with high heels, <laughs> ignoring that, um, brown high heels at that, um, looking at the pattern. So... I'm already confused as to why the belt loops are sewn right here. Like, why is the belt, like, why are these belt loops even, what is happening? Why is there no belt loop here? But there is here, but then it's also tacked down. That's not what's showing in the line drawing. This is bizarre and sloppy looking. Other than that, the straight leg, you've got, this is the uh, going to be the, one of the hem variations, this little like top stitched cuff kind of thing or band, and then your belt. The fit looks pretty good. It is relaxed through, you know, the, the rise. Um, because of the elastic, you are going to get some bunching here. You just can't avoid that. But it looks like you have her version, a version with a little slit a cargo version with um, ankle elastic. Side seam pockets are illustrated here. Yeah, I genuinely have no idea what happened to her pants, but these are supposed to be hers, right? Like that's not at all what she's wearing. Oh, this one's cute because it has like this little button detail. You could apply that to any of them. Here's the back, that looks pretty good. I mean, for an elastic waist pant that runs the risk of looking like a big, saggy, wet diaper, um, we've seen them. If you've been watching these videos for a while, through the pandemic especially, it was just like, oh my gosh, like, I never wanted to see another elastic waist pant ever. But this one looks really good. The rise looks, I mean, the, the, the curve, the crotch curve looks really good. The ease on the thigh and all of that, that looks all really good. I just don't know that I would make it so long that you'd have to wear high heels with it. I just crop it. Okay, here's the back envelope. And there is, I didn't notice this. Let me look again. Okay, so it does look like on A and B, there is, the belt is sewn into the side seam, or on A. Then on B, there's no belts. And then C, there's a belt loop in the center back. Chambray, cotton types, lightweight denim, poplin, sateen, tencel, washed linen. Yeah, kind of like your light to midweight bottom weight fabrics. Not even necessarily bottom weight, but your light to midweight wovens that are, you know, going to be suitable to go over your bum and through a crotch and all the wear and tear that that area takes. One inch elastic, three buttons for the little button detail, and then elastic for C. So for the, oh, okay. Yeah. So C gets just a little bit more elastic than A and B. Okay. So size is eight to 26 on this. That's going to take us, we're going to look at the hip. So that's 33 and a half up to 50 and finished. That's going to be 39 to 55 and a half. So it's five and a half inches of ease which is decent. That that makes sense um, for this pattern, for sure. I do want to look at the line drawings again just to make sure that like whatever was happening with her sample 
yeah, that's definitely not happening. I don't know what they did. Um, and then B has the two front belt loops and a separate belt. Normally they would, they would, you know, do a little separate thing for the belt, but they're not, they haven't done that here. Maybe there's not one for B and C. That seems weird. Why would you have the belt loops and no belt? But, but yeah, I don't know. The line drawing is not matching up to the sample. Aren't a huge deal. It's just weird. You know, um, it's just, you know, I guess there's enough unforeseen problems that come up with sewing patterns. So when you see one that's so glaring, it makes you, it's just enough to give you like pause. It's like a yellow flag, you know? All right, we have a women's skirt uh, with hemline variations. Easy to sew, women's skirt with hemline variations features ruffled and gathered waist, ruffled and gathered waist, front button and loop closure, self ties and side seam pockets. Okay, so, okay, this is clearly like a bathing suit with a cover-up. However, she's wearing this way too low on her waist. This is not sitting at her natural waist. Her natural waist is way up here. Um, so I think that's why it's looking a little not flattering on her. Um, this is definitely not the smallest part of her. Plus, it's like a black and a white and a like very distinct horizontal line at an area of her body that's just not the smallest um so that's why rise and like where you wear your waistbands and stuff is so important when you're considering flattery and you know looking your most <laughs> fit and like I don't know it just people will compliment on did you lose weight like depending on different garments that you wear depending on where the the seam is. It, I think it makes a big difference. Okay, but basically we have like a very simple button front. I think it has the loops and buttons. Um, and then just like a little casing, a baby, baby um, paper bag hem, paper bag hem, yeah. Um, and then this little casing with a drawstring. It is very simple. This gauze does make it suitable for like throw it on over a bathing suit and go to dinner kind of situation. I mean, probably not with high heels, but you do you. Um, so there's this straight across version. This is the version she's wearing. And then there's a version where I think the back and the front both have the dip. So that's not the belt and loops. That is a button band. Yeah, so is that one. Okay, so yeah, I just, they just looked like loops to me for some reason. Here's the back. You know, it's very simple and straightforward. Some of us could probably even just draft this on our own. It's not a complicated draft at all, especially because fitting is like, like you don't have to worry about fit on this at all. Like you're gonna, all the fitting is the fitted part, most fitted part of this is at your waist. And that's done with a drawstring. So like if you're close within like three inches or so, like you're going to be fine. The only, only fitting issue you'll run into is length. And that should be easy enough for you to adjust for. So batiks, cotton blends, cotton lawn, eyelet gauze, lightweight linens, and wool. Yeah, I do definitely think this one is going to be most beautiful in a fabric that like catches the wind. You know what I mean? Like if you like, you know, do like you do with your sheets when you're going to make your bed and it like catches, you know, in the air, I think that's going to make the most beautiful version of this. Um, you need a certain number of buttons. It looks like eight buttons for all of them. And then elastic. So there's elastic in that casing and also your drawstring. Uh, they're giving us a waist and hip measurement. They're doing the finished measurement for the hip which is 20 inches of ease. Like I said, this one is super easy to fit. This is a great pattern for a beginner sewist who's just wanting to learn how to sew, right? And focusing on sewing skills and not wanting to worry about fit at all. Um, this is great for that. I guess that's why it's called an easy to sew or why it's in that category. 
All right, now we have This is that same skirt in the Mrs. Style. Um, I forgot to look at the sizing on that one. Hold on, let me go back just so, I think we're gonna get the full range obviously, but what is their full range now? So 20 to 28 and then 30 to 38. And if I look again at the, oh, my computer's like, slow down. Um, if I look again here, that takes us from 20 to, wait, what did that thing just say? And, oh, my goodness, my brain's not working. Hold on. 20 to 28 and 30 to 38. Twenty to twenty-eight, and then thirty to thirty-eight. Okay. Okay. I guess up until now I had assumed that all of these were one envelope, but they're not. They are broken into. So I'll do a better job of clicking that drop down so that you can see where the break is. Do they? Am I going crazy? Do they normally not separate this for us and let us? Maybe not. I can't remember. Anyway, so that takes us for to a body measurement at the hip of 44 to 62 so that is fully fully size inclusive on the higher end on like the plus category and then for the misses so the, that one went up to a 62 inch hip and this one oh this is the really pretty like both of them are low See how it's just so swooshy? Oh, it's so, it is really pretty. Um, so this one's going to take us hip wise from 31 and a half to 44. So we have 31 and a half up to 62. That covers just about 30 inches. That is incredible and should be commended. Size four to 38. This is what I hope and can pray that we're striving for across the board when it comes to sewing patterns. Um, that would just be amazing. So yeah, here's the back of that one. And then we'll just quickly look at the photos. This one's sitting really low on her hip too. I want this one to be where the crop top ends. Wow, what a top. Yeah, it doesn't say that it's a low rise or anything like that. So, yeah. Okay, so that is that skirt. <clears throat> Next we have, I don't know why it redoes the, reorganizes the page like that. All right, we have Mimi's first pattern in this collection. It is a knit dress in two lengths. We have easy to sew slim fit knit dress in two lengths, has twist front and cutout detail, sleeveless or cap sleeves, and elasticized waist. Long dress has a side slit. Sexy mama, as usual, to be expected from Mimi, right? This is eight to 16 and then 18 to 26 on the size range. Um, I have a dress similar to this from Old Navy, um, and I love it. It's very flattering. I also love a cap sleeve on a fitted garment because if you are an hourglass or a pear or something, or even like a ruler, it acts as, it creates an hourglass for you. I mean, Mimi's already an hourglass, so she's gonna just look like an hourglass no matter what. But like if you are a pair, for example, and you're smaller on top and wider hips, this is going to give the illusion that your top is wider and more symmetrical to your hip. And so it creates that hourglass shape for you. It's very, very flattering. Um, but this one has a super thick elastic waistband, but not like cinching in, you know, like cinching in the fabric. It's, you know, a very subtle 
gather, I'm, I don't, I'm hesitant to even call it that. It's really just holding the garment to the body. Um, and then you have this twist front. Yeah, this is really cute. I hope she did this in the, I'm sure she did, but um, in the women's sizes too, this would be a great contender for the sew along just because we haven't done a knit garment in so long. The back is completely closed in, in case you're wondering. Um, stretch knits only, such as bamboo, interlock, ITY, jacquard, jersey, and rib knits. H26, we went over that. Oh, just a little bit of elastic. Oh, it's actually one and a quarter inch elastic, even more thick. I love a nice thick elastic at my waist. It just feels so much more secure. So this is fitted throughout. So we're going to see some negative ease across the board here. At the bust, we've got an inch of negative ease. At the waist, it's four inches of positive, but the elastic is going to draw that in. Um, you could even go to two inches, one inch of positive, and you'd be fine. So if you're in between sizes on your waist, uh, size down, and then on the hip, we've got zero ease, um, not positive or negative. It's exactly like your body. So it's not going to like, it's not going to be a body con dress where it's like sausage in a casing, you know, it's going to skim your hips. Um, so I like, I like those numbers. I like that. That feels good to me. And it really doesn't take that much fabric. One and a half yards for the short version. Of course, I prefer the long version, but um, two and five eighths yards on that just to make that longer skirt. I think this one will do really well for Mimi. Outside of her, like, you know, core following that just makes whatever she puts out no matter what. Yep, here's just more of the pictures. We've looked at them already, but just one more peek through because it is so cute. All right. <laughs> I don't know why it's doing that. It's so weird. Look at this fun number. This is definitely happening. I'm liking this collection, you guys. Easy to sew knit crop tops with princess seams have three back options. Top A has closed back with slit and button closure, you know, at the neckline, I'm assuming. Uh, top B has cross back with ties and top C has back ties with center opening. Okay, and this comes in alphanumeric sizing, all in one pattern, extra small to 2x. Is this Julianne Moore's niece or what? More so from far away. Okay, so knit princess uh, seamed crop top, right? Super basic in the front. Maybe we could argue that there are some issues with fit through the bust. Like it's a little bit too fitted for her through the bust, but you could also argue that it's a little bit just too loose through the neck neither here nor there. I think that's also, I'm a little bit more forgiving on knit garments when it comes to drag lines and I shouldn't be, but I am. I'll admit it. And then from here, there's this little seam that has this little tie. So this back is stationary and then this just ties in the back. I do personally have a problem with garments that tie in the low back. They are just so uncomfortable to me when you sit down and like sit back in a chair, that little knot right there on the spine of your back is just so, so uncomfortable. Um, so you could easily make the straps longer so it ties in the front. That's probably my least favorite option. You could do like a, like a swimsuit closure, you know, that little like hooky thing that goes in to the loop, like, but it's like an inch long. And then you wouldn't have a bow. Um, not a ton of great options for me to overcome this. This is very much a me thing. And I don't expect for all of you to be like, yeah, I need to alter. I don't like that either. It's, I know it's me. All right. That's the version she's wearing. Now that, yeah. So that has this extra like lower panel thing. All right, here are the three backs. So you have a fully closed back um, with a little thing. Although I feel like if this is a knit top, do you really need that? I just close that right up. Um, these other ones don't have that for their necklines. What's the difference? 
you don't even need a center back seam, I don't think. Um, I mean, maybe for like uh, uh, using less or less amounts of fabric. And then you have this crossover version and then this little loop version. But either way, they both still tie in the back. Yep. I think because it's a knit top, you don't even have to have that swimsuit closure thing. You could just make a band with no bow. Okay, something to consider. All right, so stretch knits only, such as active wear, bamboo, ITY, rib knit. Like, why aren't they talking about jerseys and stuff? I guess it depends on what the pick and knit rule is. I'm still going to keep saying until they hear me, <laughs> please put percentages on the back of the envelope. So when we go shopping in Joanne or online or whatever, well, mostly online. When we're shopping at Joanne, the pick and knit rule is going to be on the back. Okay, fair enough. But when we're shopping online, we don't want to have to wait for the pattern to come in to start shopping for fabric. I would like to see the percentage. Plus, does the pick and knit rule ruler thingy have the percentage on there? Or is it just the little scale, the little, you know, bar? I can't remember. All right, so extra small to 2X is a size 4 to 26. That takes us from, let's do the bust, uh, bust of 29 and a half up to 48. And then they're giving you a positive half inch of ease. That could be the reason why she's getting the, um, the drag lines on the front of her top. Um, if it were more of like negative ease, or even zero ease, I think that that might go away. Um, it also depends on your cup size and, you know, all kinds of things. So she's just, I think, a bigger cup size than the top is drafted for. And so it's stretching across her bust more than intended. And so because it's stretchier through here, that has to release into all of these drag lines. So, I mean technically she needed to do a full bust adjustment, but who's doing that on a knit garment? <laughs> um, so that, I think maybe that's why I'm a little bit more lenient on drag lines on knits. I don't know. Um, okay. Yeah, that's it on this one. Cute design. Not necessarily for me and just some of my idiosyncrasies. Some of the things that make me special. All right. Now we have this Jiffy vintage jumpsuit. Um, it looks like from the 1960s. Yep. 1960s Jiffy easy to sew one piece jumpsuit and romper has low round neckline. I'd hardly call that low. Um, front zipper closing button trim optional patch pockets self fabric tie belt and then these authentic vintage reproductions have two main pattern pieces and includes additional size options and cutting layouts. So it's two pattern pieces, which, you know, if you have curves are not going to be great for you. Um, I'll show you why here in a second. 6 to 14 and then 16 to 24 on the size range. Still pretty decent. So you have a front piece and a back piece. So the only opportunity, and this has to be on the straight grain, right? So the only opportunity you have for doing any kind of shaping is just through the side seam here. And it just is, it's, it's just, uh, it doesn't produce the best looking fit, I don't think. Um, but you do have these little buttons that come over her shoulder and button on the top of her shoulder. And then there is a, looks like a lapped zipper. Um, no waist seam, this little chintzy little belt. Maybe it's because they made it in this like cheap cotton. I don't, I don't know. Like I'm not vibing with this at all. It's just too, it's all just so straight. Even on her body where she's got her like hip popped out. Let's look at more pictures. And then they styled her like she's in the 60s. It's like, we don't have to be so literal. Modernize it. That's the whole point you're re-releasing it, right? 
it isn't supposed to be a costume, I don't think. Like, to get this to fit me, I'd have to take out here, scoop in here, let out here, take in here, let out for my calf. You know, it's be, it'd be like a little wavy line like this. I don't, I just don't, I can't see how that would look good. That's the same picture again. Okay. Okay, I mean, that's a little bit more promising. I think if you're a ruler, you're good to go. Um... Maybe even if you're uh, hourglass, you'd be good to go because this, this belt would do a lot of the work. The rest of the fruits, I, I think we're screwed on this one. Um, it would be really hard to, I think, make it fit in a way that looked good everywhere, top to bottom. Canvas, corduroy, cotton types, denim, double knits. Double knits is an option because there would be a little bit of stretch there, not much. They don't even recommend stretch wovens. So that would be my only other suggestion is like a stretch woven that is going to give you some reprieve at the curviest parts of use, whether that's your bust up top or your bum. Um, it would help a little bit. Uh, lightweight wool types, linen types, poplin and PK. 22 inch zipper, buttons and seam binding. All right, as I said, sizes 6 to 24, that gives us, uh, hmm, maybe we should do the bust, 30 and a half to 46, three inches of ease in the bust. Um, it's showing a lot of ease in the waist, like nine inches. And then in the hip, you've only got, what is that, two inches. So that those numbers right there are not mathing. The math is not mathing for me because I know I wouldn't be in one size category at having to be grading and this is, I don't think is meant for that. So just keep that in mind. There's lots of really great rompers and jumpsuits out there these days. So that definitely does not have to be the one and only for you. Look at this number. Wow. What a stunner. Okay, this is a women's knit top pants and skirts. And I think by now we can assume if there's a women's version, then there will be a Mrs. version. It doesn't always go the other way, but if there's women's, we can almost guarantee there's going to be a Mrs. This is an asymmetrical draped top with one shoulder or shoulder tie, wide leg pants, and slim skirt. Slim skirt with slit have wide yoke, size for stretch knits only. They're really leaning into the knits on this collection. So I'm not the biggest fan of a one shoulder, all right? But all of this ruching is so universally flattering. Whether you don't like your boobs or your stomach or whatever it is, this hides it all. It just looks so pretty. Um, they do have an option where you can do a little shoulder tie here. Again, I'm not a fan. That it just feels lazy. I would convert that just to a strap. Um, I'm a little bit more minimal minimalist when it comes to that, I guess. But you do have the, you know, the asymmetry here repeats um, on your high to low hip. And then you have these fabulous knit pants. I mean, talk about wearable pajamas. Nice big, like, uh, waistband here. And just super wide leg. And then you have your little pencil skirt. So there she is again, looking like a million bucks. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that looks really, really good. Big fan. Big fan of this one. So stretch knits only such as ITY, jersey, spandex, stretch velvet. Yeah, I gotta imagine this one's gonna be best in your lightweight wovens. I wouldn't mess around too much with like rayon jerseys though. I mean, you could, it's just gonna be really really lightweight here i'm kind of surprised that for the skirt they didn't recommend ponty but i guess they didn't want to just call out one fabric for one view and maybe the idea is that they match anyways i don't know um but i think you'd be pretty good with just about any fabric you know that fits in the knit um stretch category 
So this is 20 to 28 and then 30 to 38. That gives us a, let's do the waist. Because the waist is the most fitted part, I think. The waist is 35 inches to 54 inches. The waist for the top is zero ease. That makes sense. The waist for the pants and skirt is negative one and a half inches. That also makes perfect sense. Okay, good. The hip for the fitted skirt has negative one and a half inches too. This is good. This is a really good pattern. I sign off on this one. Whoever wants to make this, go for it. You're going to look great. I don't foresee any issues. I see no flags of any color other than green. <laughs> okay, this is um, your Mrs. Knit Skirts in two lengths. Easy to sew, sleek knit midi, or long length skirts with side slits have a cinching drawstring that creates a ruching effect across the bodycon silhouette. What does that mean? Oh, I see. So the drawstring runs up and down, not around your body. Um, again, if you, I'm not going to say the word, I don't love the word that women use to describe this area of their body. <laughs> so I'm just going to call it your lower belly. Um, and you create that ruching again, it hides whatever, all the tacos. You can have all the guacamole you want, like lasagna, pile it on. Um, and this is, gonna, <laughs> this is going to um, camouflage all of that. So you have this version that is like ankle length um, and has a like a mid thigh slit. This one I think is open, which I don't, I need to see that. That's the version she's wearing. Um, <laughs> I don't know about having an opening below your belly button. That feels a little bit like some kind of like bullseye game or something. Like, here's your target. I don't know. I feel like that would look so weird. I'm picturing my own body, of course, but I feel like that would look so weird. I also think this is the top that ties in the back. So this would be your set. This is the idea they have that you would pair these two things together. Okay, wait, look. See, this is how they did that. So they wrapped that around to the front this time. That looks so good. I wonder if I could do that and instead of having it fully wrap around the front and tie, if it could like wrap around and then stitch down somehow here at the side seams or something. So this would be the finished look. I like that a lot better. But yeah, you can tell the back there's not much going on. This isn't going to hide much of anything, which is why your fabric choice is so important. What did, okay, of course they give us bamboo interlock and ITY. No. No to all of that. I just, no. On, does it have negative ease? No. Yes. No. <laughs> it has zero inches of ease. So zero ease. Oh, man. I don't know. It just feels like I would prefer something a little bit more structured. So like a thicker rib knit would be good. A midweight jersey would be good. Um, Ponty would be excellent. I don't know about those super lightweight drapey ones. I just am not, yeah, I'm not thinking that. Um, it is intended to be worn below the waist, which low rise, I know, I'm so annoyed with it too, is coming back. But you could always alter this to wear it at your natural waist. Then again, if you did that for the version with the keyhole, that would just circle your belly button. Can you imagine? No, please. I can't. Oh my gosh. Um... Anyways, the sizing on this one is also pretty limited. It's only a 10 to 22 size range. So, and I'm pretty sure they put all that in one envelope, I'm guessing. Yeah. So, I don't know. With such a simple pattern, they could have just thrown in more sizes on both sides. It's okay. It's, I don't think it's going to be something that I, like, remember. They keep showing this blue and white one, and I cannot wait to see it. This one. Okay, we'll get it very soon. Next is this Mrs. Dress in Two Links by Madeline Intimates. 
This doesn't seem super intimate. This seems like a dress you'd wear out. So Madeline is branching out, lingerie inspired. Mini and midi corset dress features a hook and eye closure at center front, plastic boning along front and back princess seams, and a delicate ruffle detailing along center front neckline. Midi dress has high low hem with deep ruffle. I mean, it couldn't be cuter. 8 to 16 and then 18 to 26. So it is pretty decent for the Mrs. size range. So you get boning here and just a little baby bit here. Nice deep scoop. I love this back. Um, it looks like a sweetheart neckline, hook and eyes down the front. You could definitely simplify this bodice by not using boning. It's not necessary. There is a strap. I mean, boning is really to kind of help hold a garment up um, so it doesn't fall down and kind of give it a little bit of shape through your bust. But if you have straps, maybe not 100% necessary. And then you have this waist seam and then this, is that a curved ruffle? I'm a little confused as to what's happening. This looks a little wonka doodle. This one's a little mini, as you can tell. You can certainly do knee length or whatever you want. There's a zipper in the back too. And then also to simplify, you don't have to do this hook and eye. You can just sew these two things closed. Um, just add your seam allowance back to this little panel here, the left and right panel. And or leave the white, yeah, you know what I'm saying, sew it up the middle. Okay, there's that. I want to see the line drawing of this, the bigger skirt. Yeah, it looks straight across. I'm not entirely sure what's happening. Um, I do love this silhouette. I love the design. I love the scoop back. There's a lot I like about this one. Chalet, chambray, lightweight, cotton type, silky types for sure. For sure, you could do a lot. I mean, you could use up any of your cotton prints, old sheets, um, just quilting cotton, whatever you've got. So there is interlining, okay? So interlining is similar to lining and then there's a second layer of fabric, but it's not sewn, uh, it's hard to explain. It's sewn to the, to the, oh God. <laughs> Each piece, the inner lining and the main fabric are sewn together around the raw edges first, and then you sew the garment together as one. So it's not like you sew the main garment, you sew the lining garment, and then you attach them together. They're attached together before any other seams are sewn. So heavyweight muslin or lightweight canvas for that. And again, they're going to be a ton of notions. So hook and eye, featherweight boning. I don't love plastic boning either. That's another reason why I would probably skip that. Um, underwire channeling so you actually do have a bra cup in there 10 inch invisible zipper and pre-pleated trim 8 to 26 we talked about that so the bust is a 31 and a half inch to 48 inches and she's got half an inch of positive ease in the bust um, one inch of positive ease in the waist and lots of ease in the hip so it is very close fitting. Um, yeah, one inch in the waist is what's making me the most nervous. Half an inch in the bust, that's also kind of making me nervous, but it's intended to be like a corset and corsets are super fitted. So keep that in mind. You know, you might want to make your seam allowances a little bit smaller if that's not feeling right for you. You can definitely, definitely make it work. Um, if you like something a little less fitted, but if you want that snatched corset look, yeah, this is what you got to do. So I do love the back though. Okay, Madeline, good job on your first dress. Okay. Um, next we have this one. This wasn't catching my eye this whole time as it kept popping up. Mrs. Top Skirt and Pants. Oh, Okay, easy to sew, tops, skirt, and pants, cropped top sleeveless, or with puff sleeve, have easy button front closure and darts for shaping. Three tiered skirt and pants with pockets have shaped waistband and invisible zipper. 
Okay, so the little top is really sweet. It's kind of like this version's like a vest. And then this version is like, you know, just a button front top. It does look a little bit big on her. This part is strange. I've never understood these waistbands that curve up. I, I don't I don't see how that adds like I don't see how that makes it more flattering. I don't see how it makes it more comfortable. I don't see I don't see the point in that. But I've also never sewn anything like that. So if you have and you were like so surprised by something about it, let me know in the comments. But then otherwise you just have these this three-tiered gathered skirt. It's nothing spectacular, like nothing new. The pants are, are interesting. Probably that color isn't helping. I, I wish they would have made up the pants simply because we've seen and can visualize a three-tiered skirt really easily. These pants with that waistband and those patch pockets and the hem slits, I don't know. I mean, maybe. Invisible zipper in the back. Yeah, it just feels really big um, through here, actually, from the full bust up. Um, all of this feels really big. But again, that could just be the fit model. Chambray, cotton types, gingham, linens, poplin, sateen, and tinsel. And then the pants, you can also sew in lawn and silky types? No. 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 Um, I don't know what happened. Maybe lawn and silky types were supposed to go in the suggested fabrics for for A and B. C was supposed to get sateen and tinsel, maybe? Tinsel's rayon. I don't know. I would not make those pants out of a freaking polyester drapey fabric for sure even a lawn is like not i know even a lawn is not right it would be it would be a linen a twill i mean tinsel twill would work sateen would work hmm okay and then four buttons and an invisible zipper four to twenty so that gives us, the bust is super roomy. Let's look at the waist. 22 inch waist to 34 inch waist. And finished garment measurements are in the envelope. Womp womp. Okay. I think the fabric is what initially drew me to it. Um, I'm not loving it. It's, um, it's a little too, I don't know. I'm not convinced after taking a closer look that it's for me. I'd honestly rather sew Madeline's if I'm going to make like a, you know, cottony kind of garment. I think it's going to be Madeline's over that one. Okay, so this is the Mrs. version of this. So, and for this one, they did the strap, which, you know, Hard to say this was done intentionally, like was purposefully thought out. Regardless, though, I love that they gave the women's version the sample without the strap and the Mrs. version the sample with the strap. It's just a subtle way of saying women of all sizes can wear the sexy things. You can wear the asymmetrical top with only one sleeve. You know what I mean? It's just further solidifying in our minds that have been warped over the years that we can wear whatever we want. And that's all I'm going to say about that. So <laughs> here is that version. Um, oh, and they also gave her the skirt. They gave this girl the skirt. So that's what the skirt looks like. Yeah, still really beautiful on both women. There's the back. Yep. Yep. And this could have gone easily like super matronly, but they kept it fresh, I think. I mean, I don't see, you know, 18 year olds wearing this, but I definitely see like, depending on your lifestyle, what you do for work and stuff like that, you know, 
30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 year olds. Okay, then the all of this should be the same as the last one. I just want to look at the pictures. Um, and again, it starts at size four and goes to 38. So that's great. All right, now. Okay, um, now we have, wait, what do we have? This. Okay, we're going to skip children and girls, although, are you kidding me? I want this in my size. That's so cute. And what do the rest of the backs look like? Oh, all buttoned up. That's adorable. Okay. Um, so we have this, what was it, shorts or something? Uh-oh. Oh, no, this little wrap top thing. Okay. So, top and two lengths have sleeve variations, elegant draped silhouette, pleats along the shoulders for texture, and back zipper closure. It's giving me, you know, Asian vibes, right? Like a pleated wrap neck, very much like OB, sari, you know, all that kind of Indian, Asian stuff. Um... I like that it's shorter. That definitely helps balance things out with so like much fabric up here. So you need to balance that out a little, I think. So we have her version and then one with a sleeve. Maybe one that's a little bit, oh no, that has a little cap sleeve on it. These might be link variations, sleeve less. There's the back. Yeah, really simple, but could be one of those things that you make out of, yeah, I was thinking like taffeta. I was thinking like some kind of specialty fabric that can elevate even jeans. You know, if you need like a, I don't know where you wear jeans and a fancy top anymore. We're not really doing that, but like even just like your black work trousers and then you throw on like this fancier top and you can go to like a special event. You don't have to change into like a special dress, you know, um, chalet, crepe, linen, sateen, and silky types, and taffeta. Yeah, just know that the less drapey that it is, the more that that neck situation is going to stand away from your body. 6 to 24 is the size range here. Yeah, I mean, it's not super fitted anywhere. The bust has four and a half inches of ease. The waist apparently has 10 inches of ease. That sounds like a lot. And the lower edge, which is either your high hip or your low hip, depending on the length, um, has two and a half, wait, one and a half inches of positive ease. We also have that little, like, I think it would naturally kind of split apart more too, if you like moved and stuff. Yeah, this one's a little bit of a surprise to me. I, I don't know that I would wear it, but I support all of you making it. <laughs> 10 inches in the waist, I think that might be a little bit just because it was hard to measure because it is a wrap. I don't actually think if we sewed this down that there's 10 inches, I think there's probably more like four or five. I think that's just hard for their computers to calculate maybe. All right, finally, I think finally, are we on our last one? No, not even close. Okay, keep it going. Unisex shorts. So we have easy to sew, unisex, pull on shorts with drawstring and pockets. View D has contrast pocket overlay. I think these are supposed to be like board shorts, swim shorts, like outdoorsy, maybe in the water, maybe just hiking, kind of athletic. So they're, they're definitely just like elastic waist shorts for sure, but they have the drawstring. This one has the stripes going down the side in definite, like that's like basketball jersey fabric. Um, hers has this big pocket with netting. 
They definitely got the links right. I love how they styled her with the super crop top and the white high tops. Yeah, it's like a fishing vibe. That's like surfing or swimming. Same for that. Yeah, these are kind of cool. I think these are great. I'm here for this. Let's see what the fabric requirements are. Chambray, cotton, interlock, nylon sport fabric, poplin, also in mesh. Okay, so it's not actually waterproof fabrics. I thought it was going to be like board short fabric. I guess nylon sports fabrics are a little bit like that. I thought it was going to be like, I don't know, like, more for water sports, but that was, that's just the first impression I got. Um, you do need a quite a bit of notion. So we've got elastic cording, twill tape, and a button extra small to two X. These are all men's sizes. So the only difference is the inseam in these two. They're not actually, this isn't like for women and this is for men. They're all for both. And you just decide on your inseam. Um, okay, and then waist has a drawstring. That doesn't really matter. The hip is coming in at 32 to 34 inches. And finish is 37 and a half. So you have anywhere between like uh, 37. So what is that? Three to five inches-ish. Yeah, and of course you can, you know, finagle your seam allowances a little bit if you're on like the, if you're like the 34 end of this size range and you want to have more ease like the 32 people have, um, you can just like, you know, take a lower seam allowance, a smaller seam allowance. That's cute and I feel like it's, it's different. Like we're not, I mean, maybe the, maybe the design itself is not necessarily like rewriting the you know anything special about it like it's still an elastic weight short you just add a pocket to it but it is kind of being thoughtful in terms of lifestyle like making it easy for people who hey I really need a basketball short and they can just come here and oh look there's a basketball short they don't have to think about breaking down what it means to have a basketball short elastic weight drawstring, you know all of this they can just they can just have it um, okay, so now we have this, this is a big collection. Now we have this top, button front top with sleeve and link variations, collar and hem bands. This is, I feel like we've seen this a thousand times, right? We've got the banded neckline gathered um, at the uh, neckline that is a raglan sleeve that goes into a flutter or a cap or three quarter sleeve with a band or this little elastic one. This is for sure the cutest to me. Another great use for, I mean, this is like a more like a lightweight cotton. This one seems to read a little bit more like silky types. Um, same with that one. Yeah, cute for like church or work or a sweet little date. And that one's like a lot more casual. The length, I can't tell, but it does look like A and C are longer than B and D. Um, and she's in C, right? Yeah, she's in C, so the longer length. So the shorter ones are going to be, yeah, I mean, I'm not wearing anything this long anymore. Maybe it, it is that long in case you want to tuck it in. Um, but I'm, I mean, my loose fitting tops these days are fitting like they're hitting right at my high hip I guess chalet chambray cotton types um gingham linens hoplins I mean yeah you can really make this out of just about any woven at all um the again more structured it is the more it'll stand away from your body so just keep that in mind but I think with this one too, you can even add elastic around the hem and have kind of like that milkmaid kind of look, you know, you could for sure crop it even shorter and really lean into that vibe. 
Um, all of these you can lengthen into dresses. So yeah, it's pretty versatile with all the sleeve, the different sleeves for sure. Six buttons, buttons, and elastic. Um, 8 to 16 and 18 to 26 on the size range. And then it's loose fitting all over. So again, it's one of those that you're going to want to base off of your shoulder and get that shoulder to fit really well. And then everything beyond that should look good and not like if the neckline fits right, then it should trick the eye into thinking that it's, um, that even though you can't see any curves whatsoever under it, if it fits at the neckline and the shoulders, I don't know, it just tells us that it's not a potato sack. Okay. Cute, simple, great little wardrobe builder. Okay, now we have a little kid's outfit. Here is a Mrs. Dress, another easy to sew pattern. 8 to 16, 18 to 26. Mrs. have slip, Mrs. Dresses have split neck kimono style sleeves, elastic at waist, and length variations. I think I said this before, they're bringing back this like thin elastic waist situation. I didn't love it before, but it was definitely easy to sew. I don't love it on its second iteration either. Um, but it's just this, I think like a grown on sleeve and then you can add this ruffle. That feels like a indie pattern, right? Have we not seen this as a top? Didn't I make this? I made this. I don't know whose it was, but whose pattern it is, but I made this for sure as a top. So that's something to consider, shortening it and removing this elastic for sure. Um, it is a pull on and it just has this little like, you know, button and loop situation. This is pretty. It is pretty. I just think that those aren't the most comfortable to me. I don't like elastic on my waist, I don't think. I wish she had her arms down. Ugh. Yeah, I mean, I get they're trying to show off the sleeve here, but like you're not walking around Target with your hands on your hips like that. Like I want to see how it lays kind of naturally in the back so yeah I don't know I'm just maybe it's the print too it's kind of like you know from far away like the colors all kind of blend together and it's this weird brown green color batik crepe double georgette ity knits jersey rayon silky types yeah I don't know what I would do differently to it nothing really um if you took the elastic waist out then you wouldn't have any shape to it then you'd want to add one of those belts and I don't like the belts either um and I don't really I get why they're not putting a waist seam in yeah maybe that's just becoming something in my life now that I don't want to fuss with and I feel like those are fussy to me um, all right, so elastic and a button. These are your sizes. It's really loose fitting. Let's look at the hip though, 33 and a half to 50 inches. Yeah, and there's still, what is that, six inches of ease there. So very forgiving in the fit department. Again, this is one of those though that if you make the wrong size, this is going to swallow you up. And it won't matter what the waist definition is. It won't matter, you know, the skimming hip design. Um, you have to have to get your shoulder and the neckline right on this before worrying about anything else. It does, right? Can you tell on her? Let's look at this again. Um, it's not overwhelming this way on her. It's overwhelming this way. Like this is too, whatever this is, is too much. Um, 
And then even on like the one that was of her back, like you can tell like her thumb is doing a little bit of work here to, you know, hold all this in. But where's the elastic? You can't even see it. There's so much billowing. Um, so maybe it's a little bit too long in the bodice. Um, and then certainly I think you're going to be able to see into her body through the sleeve. So that's something to consider too, I guess. Um, if she were to size down, it would be narrower mostly through here and also here. This is where they would do the grading. So yeah. Definitely size down one, maybe more, depending on your preferences. Okay, now we have another really sweet little girl's outfit. This is a Jiffy Mrs. Knit Short Halter Dress and Halter Top. Vintage 70s. Easy to sew, short halter dress and halter top with sweet heart neckline and front gathers. Have bands forming extensions tied at back neck. Size for stretchness only. Yeah, this is very 90s to me. I definitely had this in like middle school. Um, you make it out of a midweight cotton and it is comfortable for sure. Um, gosh, I have not seen a halter dress pattern in so long. Um, if this is a knit garment, I don't see why you need that zipper. Um, the band should just fit and it should stay up. So stretchness only such as jerseys, lightweight double knits, matte jerseys, and stretch velvet for sure. I agree with all of those. You can't really do a lightweight flimsy knit on this. They have to have a little bit of structure to them. Um, I'd skip the zipper. It should be able to just pull on uh, optional stretch lace. Where was that supposed to go? Oh, here on the neckline. Okay. Um, and then boop, 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 where was I? Hooks and eyes. Okay. So six to 16 or six to 14 maybe. And then 16 to 24. And then it should be pretty fitted in the bust. Um, they're not giving us the finished bust measurement. Okay. Um, the waist has four inches of ease and the hip has a ton. Um, it was super comfortable. I did feel like really cute when I was wearing mine back in the day. Um, hmm. Something to think about bringing back the halter knit dress. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Okay. Um, where are we? Okay, so we've got Mimi's second pattern is a women's caftan in two lengths. Um, easy to sew, one shoulder dress, and mini and maxi lengths with sleeve options, side seam pockets, and elasticized waist. Maxi length has side slit. Okay, so another asymmetrical dress, but this one has like a big, thick, you know, band. Um big, big, big grown on sleeve, elastic waist. I love this little mini version, side seam pockets as she's illustrating here. Show it with your arm down, show it with your arm down, show it with your arm down. Dang. Wishful thinking. Um, but see, this is what I wanted to see. I want to see how it drapes and how long it is. Maybe that's why they didn't do it with her arm down because it's too long. It doesn't look too long. I don't know. This does feel like a lot of length. Yeah. So I would check that for sure. This one better. This one doesn't seem like too overwhelming at all. All right. So batik, charmeuse, cotton lawn, cotton blends. Why did I think this was a knit dress? Crepe de chine, gauze, silky types, and voile. I 1000% thought this was like an ITY knit dress but it's not. Um, elastic is the only um, notion. 20 to 28, 30 to 38 on the size range. And again, pretty generous in the fit department. The bust has half an inch of ease. 
which I guess they're calculating without the sleeve. I don't know how you calculate that, honestly. A bust and then B bust has like a ton more ease. I don't, I don't understand that. They should be the same. And then the waist has a ton of ease and the hip has five inches of ease. So a decent amount. They didn't show us the back, did they? Dang. Ugh, I feel like a, a back photo should be mandatory. Um, okay, so now we've got a Madeline, truly lingerie from Madeline. Mrs. Robe with belt and teddy lingerie. Versatile robe with lace sleeves and hem band that can be worn by brides to be on their wedding day, thrown over a tee and jeans for a chic look, or worn casually around the house. A coordinating lace teddy completes this pack for the ultimate luxurious loungewear ensemble. I love that there's somebody out there keeping the idea of this alive. I mean, this ship sailed a long time ago for me, but like, if I were a single girl. I, mean, I don't even know if it has anything to do with being in a relationship or not. If I were just somebody that wanted to feel great in my underwear, <laughs> no matter what my status is in life, I would be so happy to have these. But I don't. So <laughs> I don't care. But it is really cute, right? Feels a little like tight through here. I don't honestly know how a teddy is supposed to fit. Um, is it supposed to be more like a bodysuit or is there supposed to be some ease lengthwise? I don't, I don't know. Oh, it goes in. So no, it is more like a bodysuit. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. Stretch knits only. Jersey knit, stretch mesh, stretch rayon, stretch silk. And then contrast is stretch lace with Galen Ed Galbon. I can't read that. I can't read what that is. But um, lots of notions always with with lingerie. Um, fold over elastic and clear elastic. Extra small to one X, and it should be pretty much negative ease throughout. Are they even giving us finished? We've got body, body. Oh no, I'm sorry. It's an extra small to five X. My bad. My bad. And then finished garment measurements are on the or inside. Okay, there's that. There's that. There's that. Okay. All right. Next, we have Mrs. Knit Front Wrap Halter Dress. Another halter dress. This is taking me at least to college. So now we're in the, you know, early 2000s. <laughs> vintage 90s shift, vintage 90, 70s, jiffy, simple to sew, knit front wrap. Why can't I read? Let's start over. Vintage 1970s, jiffy, simple to sew, knit front wrap. So many hyphenated words. Long or short halter dress has flared skirts stitched to bodice with soft tucks and self Fabric tie ends. Short dress is mini length. Long dress is ankle length. Size for stretch and it's only. Okay, what was that thing about flared skirt stitched to bodice with soft tucks? I don't really know what that means. Is that this? Oh no, it's a skirt. I don't know what that means. Yeah. Hmm. Another halter dress. What do we think? What do we think? And what does this say? Two main pattern pieces, a left and a right or a front and a back. I mean, it is pretty cool. I love a low back. Um, the wrap I could do, you do here or there with the wrap maxi length. I don't know. Did they show who has the shorter one? Oh, there she is. Um, so that's, you know, a little bit cuter. Yeah. I wish it didn't have the true wrap. I wish it were more of a 
faux wrap maybe I just honestly the only thing I really like it about is the back so I shouldn't buy a dress just for the back unless I do I have a lot of jersey knit fabrics to use up this would be a great way to do it um, jersey matte jersey stretch velvet and tricot 8 to 16 and 18 to 26 on the size range you just need some seam binding or optional stretch lace and ooh, um, bust has one and a half inches of ease the waist has one inch of ease but really with that tie you could you know fudge it a little bit and then the um, the hip is going to have a lot of ease in it it's just a full skirt I did have a dress like this once and it would always blow open and show my goods which was annoying so I never wore it unless I knew I was going to be like only inside all day all right now little oh my gosh these kids look at these two <laughs> Oh, this sassy McSasserson. Here's a little swimsuit for babies. Here's Mimi's Mrs. version of that caftan. Again, it's woven. Has this really big band. Thank you for showing with the arm down. So you can get an idea of the length of this. It's really beautiful. Super simple to sew. Yeah. pretty really pretty this would look great if you were like going to Greece <laughs> or the Mediterranean just saying um and then again all of this is the same so just wanted to look at the photos I like the longer version a lot even though it's a lot of fabric and kind of like overwhelming I think and I hate on once one shoulder dress I don't know something about it if I were like going on a trip for sure I'd be grabbing this but I'm not. All right. So I hate how the new website is making me do all the scrolling. All right. So now we, are we still not at, no, this is last times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is last times. Okay. So that's it. That is our simplicity spring. What do we think? I, you know, Kind of fizzled out toward the end, but there are some really nice gems in here. Maybe not necessarily just for myself, like maybe not for me, but I can see different lifestyles, different ages, different situations. Um, there's a lot of really good patterns in here. I'm surprised this one didn't have a women's version. Um, yeah, a lot of fun stuff. I'm, I'm, I think I'm happy overall with this collection for sure. There's not going to be a ton that I'm going to be buying just because I don't need, you know, a lot of these patterns are variations of what I already have, I guess is my point. Um, even like this one, I have that. Um, but if your like pattern stash is a little on the thinner side, there's some great wardrobe builders in here along with the trendy stuff like Madeline's dress. So, um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think, what you're going to be picking up, um, just your general thoughts, leave them all in the comment section below. I do read every single one. Um, but that's going to do it for me today, y'all. I'll keep an eye out for, what are we waiting for? Vogue and Berta. I'll see you next time. Bye.